So here we have the Audi Q2 automatic on an 18 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside from there. As you can see, we have reversing sensors, plenty of boot space as well, along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase the space even further, and this vinyl boot liner as well. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter and on the right-hand side, the speedometer and fuel gauge. In the middle, you can see the total miles for the car. They are 22,000. 450. You can change the information that's displayed above that by using buttons on the steering wheel. We're on the kind of driving data menu at the moment, so you could have, for example, your average speed, uh, any kind of distance you've traveled, etc. But there are other menus available up there too. So you've got uh, DAB uh, and then back around to the beginning again. If we back out to the steering wheel, on the left hand side, we've got the buttons I was using just a second ago, and on the right hand side, stereo. Uh, phone controls as well. Just behind the steering wheel, we have the minus and plus paddles. That is so that you can change gear manually with this automatic gearbox. And then over here, we have cruise control and speed limiter. Over in the center, we then have uh, the main screen for the car. So uh, all the movement that I'm making is all being done using this dial and the collection of buttons that surround it. So for example, uh, you can access uh, your radio uh, by using that dial. You can see just there, we have FM, DAB, and AM radio available. Uh, you can go back a page using the buttons down there. You can go back again to the main menu. If you want to listen to your own music, you can do. That's under the media heading just here. And you can see plenty of ways to do that, including Bluetooth audio. So loads of ways, all in all, to listen to your music in this car. Um, you can pay your phone just there. Uh, satellite navigation is accessed here. There's a video showing how the sat-nav works, which you can find on our website and YouTube channel. Working our way down from that. Firstly, that one will turn off the screen. So if you press that button, you'll notice the screen has now gone black. Um, you can turn off the traction control. It has the warning lights, of course. You can turn off the stop and start. This car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. Uh, that system is now off. And drive select will change the driving setup of the car so that you can put it into uh, dynamic, individual, efficiency, comfort, or auto, which is where you'd have it most of the time. Below that, we then have the air conditioning for the car. So you can determine the temperature, the fan speed, and the direction the air is being distributed in. That button turns your air conditioning on and off again. Underneath that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, USB input, the main volume for the stereo just here, a couple of cup holders, and then the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.